Have you wondered how people get this super dramatic zoom effect on OBS like this? Well then look no further because it's a really simple setup inside OBS itself. You don't need any other separate plugins or uh, anything similar to that. All you do is set up multiple sources in OBS. I'll show you how to do that. It's super simple and let's get right into it. If you guys don't know, my name is Agent. I'm a full-time Twitch partner. stream every single day except Sundays. Link down in the description below. If you would like to stop in, say hi. It would mean the world. Now, how do we actually set up the dramatic zoom in effect when something like dramatic happens or you just want to do that zoom in and you want to tell your, you know, like you want to do a funny face to your viewers. You can also insert like a funny uh, sound effect to it or something similar to that. And you just zoom your camera, you look at it and then it looks like super dramatic. People are curious what's happening. It's really simple. I'll show you right now and uh, you don't have to worry about it at all. All right, so now that we are inside the OBS, all we have to do is just duplicate our camera sources and zoom them in. You might be wondering, if you zoom them in, it all gets really wonky and weird. Well, no. You can use this super cool feature, this hotkey on inside OBS, and it will crop the camera in, and that's all you have to do. So just click on it, right-click, and then go Copy or Control-C, and you can Control-V. Now you have two same sources. If I make them disappear, my camera disappears. It's pretty simple. So I have two of them. If I move one, I can lock one. So the first one I can lock. And then the second one I can move and it's going to move right here. I have two webcams, you can see. So pretty simple. Uh, if you actually, uh, let's remove this one because we moved or we can press Control Z to go back where it was before. And now all we have to do is hold Alt on the keyboard and just crop it inside and just zoom in. Literally just zoom in and then crop over here. So if you do want to crop it like this, you can make it obviously like this, move it a bit down. And now if I click, uh, have my normal webcam and I click this, boom, it zooms inside. Really simple. And if we make it full screen, it's going to look pretty much how the other webcam looked like as well. So if we go from here, we do, dun, 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 you know, it's pretty easy. Uh, so all you have to do is literally just make multiple sources or duplicate your uh, webcam source. And then all you have to do is just zoom them in with Alt, holding Alt key on the keyboard, zoom them in and then put them on the same border as your, your webcam border or whatever. And then what you can do is just put it on a stream deck or if you don't have a stream deck, you can put it on the numpad on the keyboard or something similar to that. So what I have over here is two sources. So one is like a, a little zoom in and the other one is like a bigger zoom in. So you just go ahead and add an OBS source. So you just go over here, you type source, uh, OBS studio, or you can use the stream elements or whatever source, it doesn't matter, it's the same thing. Then you will see uh, the collection, make sure to choose the collection that you are, uh, that you have on inside of your OBS, choose the scene, which uh, the scene is located in. So I use the webcam scene, you have multiple ones, and then choose the source which uh, you're using. So the main source right here, I click on that one. And then if I click this button, it's going to turn on and it's going to turn off. So if I click it, it's going to zoom in a little bit. If I click the other one, it's going to zoom in even more. So then I just click them again to remove it and my camera is back to normal. So that's how you can uh, give that uh, super good zoom in dramatic effect in just with two buttons. You can make it one button to zoom in a lot or you can do like two where it goes like a little bit and then even more. Um, again, you can do the same thing inside the OBS uh, if you go to settings. So if we do go to OBS settings itself and we go to hotkeys, uh, we can find the source that we're looking for or the scene. Uh, so if we scroll down, let's say the YouTube 2, which is, this is the one that I'm using as for the test purpose. So for the test purposes, we can uh, show you how to do this inside the settings. Uh, let's choose the show, uh, you know, the show source and the hide source. Me, uh, for me, it's called Avery Media Duo. So I can, for example, press Alt 1 and then Alt 2. And if I click Apply, I can close this, Apply. And then if I click Alt 1, it's going to zoom in the camera. And then click Alt 2, it's going to go back to the normal. So if I do something crazy, I can go, whoa, and then go back to my normal webcam. So if you just play with it, 
you can make it perfect size, perfect crop, uh, put it inside your border or whatever you want. And you can do the same exact thing inside the full screen. Uh, for example, if you're in the full screen overlay, like this, if you're in a full screen, you can do the same thing, duplicate it, zoom it in even more. And that's all you have to do. That's pretty simple. People think you need like super crazy plugins. No, it is that simple. All you need is like five minutes, zoom in everything, crop it, add the key binds, and that's pretty much it. At least you're going to have one cool feature that a lot of people don't have. And you might, uh, you know, keep a few viewers because of that, because you're standing out a little bit more than usual. So why not use it, you know? If you did like the video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. If you don't know, again, I do stream on Twitch every single day except Sundays. Link down in the description below. I would love to see you there. And anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.